Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new channel. Today, we're going to do a different type of video. We're going to be going over 10 brawlers that helped me get to where I am in the rank, which is top 8. Um, this is not going to be like a top 10 best brawlers. It's going to be quite different. It's 10 brawlers that I've been using that work for me and that I think that might work for you guys. So let's get straight into it. Let's not waste time. You guys already know Chester's going to be on this list because I just don't stop going on about it. But yeah, Chester is going to be the first on this list here. This is not in order or anything. So I'm just going to list 10 brawlers that I've been using that helps me out quite a lot. But again, like I've said many times, Chester is just so versatile. Um, a lot of pros use it as a very good versatility brawler. You know, you can put it mid, lane, whatever. And um, that's exactly why Chester is used a lot here. Because sometimes in ranked, you don't know if you need to be able to play mid or lane. I think if you pick Chester, you can just do whatever. And it's just very good. Especially if your randoms don't want to play mid sometimes. You can just put Chester mid and it's completely normal. So that's why I think Chester is such a strong, strong option to have. Whatever point in the draft. As a first pick, last pick, mid pick, whatever. And I highly recommend you guys maxing out Chester if possible. Right. Well, we're going to try and defend this actually. Oh, yeah, well, we killed him, but we're going to be conceding here, which is not ideal, which is not ideal here, but we held on for a little bit, but yeah, like, we're doing decent against the B mid. Um, okay. Alright, let's just get, oh, I corner hit him there. That would have been a big hit. But uh, let's try and focus on winning this game now. This BB is not doing the best here. Neither is my dynamite. Okay, we got a stun, which is good. There we go, I managed to kill him. Good tank from the BB, or else I think I would have been gone there. And, um, well, here comes Mo. And Mo's going to be able to score this. And uh, there you go. That, there's the goal from the Mo there. I expected because, yeah, that's a pretty good Mo matchup. But like I said, Chester, one of the big main brawlers I've been using to get top 8. Let's get into number 9. Alright, here we are with the ninth brawler on the list. It's going to be Mortis, and reason being because Mortis is absolutely ridiculous right now. Like, the hypercharge is pretty insane, and, you know, you can play into multiple matchups. You can play into AFK brawlers, obviously. There we go. Nice little clip there. And we got a nice and early goal. Look at that part. That was a quick pass right there. But, like I said, Moise is just a very good aggressive brawler. Breaks through lines here. Um, it only struggles against, like, Gale, for example. I think Gale is the main counter for it. So, yeah, just got to be careful with Gale here. Let's go for a cool little goal. Oh, never mind. Mm, can't really score here. Could go for a little team wipe though. Alright, well, that is not good gameplay. I don't know what I just did there, but that was absolutely shocking here. Alright, let's be a little bit careful right now. And bang, bang. Okay. This Max actually just saved his life. Well, this is not the best Mortis gameplay you've seen from me, so. Yeah, not a good example here, but trust me guys, Mortis is good. If you could learn how to play him and know it, Mortis not only can score goals. You know, I think he's mainly used for team wiping now because Hypercharge just allows him to do that. Okay, let's kill him there. There we go. Clean kill. But yeah, team wiping is just uh, such a big part of Mortis now due to its Hypercharge being so ridiculous. Come on, get that goal in. Oh, no. No, he doesn't. Okay, well. Oh, you really let me down there. You really let me down. What am I doing? There we go. Managed to get the kill. And we get the goal there. Alright, well, after that horrific gameplay, let's move on to the 8th brawler on this list. The next brawler is going to be a kind of a weird one, but it's going to be Sprout. I do think Sprout has just suddenly emerged as a good thrower, especially a knockout. For some reason, Sprout just seems to be the best thrower to go and knock out here. What is happening here? Why is he just pop gadget that early? Okay, well, I guess I'm mid. Because teammates have no range. Are they win trading? Like, what is, what is going on? But, yeah, Sprout... It's just emerged as one of the best knockout brawlers, and um, I do get knockout quite a lot, if not like most of my videos, I don't know why, but it's just something that happens, so yeah, I do tend to play knockout quite a bit here. Right, I cannot have this guy get like a high level, or else this is not good. Right, where are these guys? Okay, we get a nice hit there. Put this down, I'm gonna block this because he's just feeding way too many levels here. Here we go, let's get a hit on him. Bang, dead. Lost to kill him. Nice, okay, this is perfect. Doing pretty well here. Okay, let's just block this off. Nice. Okay, now we got a little one way going on. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Nice, we got another kill. Oh, that was not a good wall. I could have done way better there. And we don't get the bounce shot off as well. Okay, well, we got to deal with a hypercharged Sandy and a crab, which is not great. Um, oh, I'm going to pick up my wall there. Okay. Oh, Sandy's pushing now. There we go, he's gonna try and push along here. Okay. 
Crab is gonna just absolutely annihilate us very soon. Okay, well, we're doing good actually at keeping him weak. Let's put this down here. here we go. Hopefully, Buster can use that. Okay, well, it's not good. Okay, well, we're gonna pull that off. There we go. B can't hit us anymore. Okay, we've got a nice positioning here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. He's gonna try and push us a little bit. And put the wall again. Buster, I'm gonna need you to do something, man, because I can't be doing everything here. This is, this is torture. Yeah, it's not looking good, guys. Not looking very good. That, yeah, that super might be it. Yeah, there we go. Well, at least we tried here. Obviously, Sprout's not gonna ring a fire, but yeah. Sprout, you play mainly on Bounty. And um, Knockout is probably the best brawlers there. So make sure to start picking Sprout a little bit more. It takes a little bit of skill, but once you learn it, the wall is just so, so strong and so effective. Let's get on to number seven on our list. Next brawler on our list is going to be Kit. Now, Kit is a bit of a weird one, but I do like playing Kit quite a lot. I like Kit because it's so versatile in terms of you can play as a thrower or aggressive. And I think the skill cap on it is crazy, crazy high. Look at this. Get the kill onto him quickly. Go onto the next target here. Nearly able to get a jump, and that would have been a clean kill already here. But look at that. Right off the start, we're able to cause so much pressure. I mainly play Kit on, um, like, okay, well, he's trying to deal with the surge here. Okay, let's just do this. Alright, well, we've got them quite weak. But yeah, I mainly play Kit on Bounty and Knockout, similar to how Sprout is, but you can play Kit anywhere. Like, it just depends on if you get a good matchup. This is not the best matchup here, but, you know, we're able to get some swipes off. Go crazy here. Okay, let me get the kill onto him. This guy is going crazy here. Another shield. Is not what I wanted. Okay, well, we're gonna go down here. Why do I always get a BB? Why is like BB just not BB just not it? Like, why do I get a BB every time? Because it is not fun to have a BB here. Okay, get some good kills here, maybe. Those are good to avoid that. Okay, Bo can get some shots in. BB's going up and doing nothing, but yeah. But like I said, Kit is very strong. Um, as you see, I got no team, and I'm able to do still a decent amount here. Um, Phoebe's just walking up as always Doing absolutely nothing here Why am I getting shot? Me? There's no way I'm getting shot Like surely Surely the guy who's doing something Is not getting shot here Surely that is not what's happening here Well Well that's just how it goes Good thing this is not ranked here Or else I would have lost my mind here already But yeah That is Look at that No team No team And I'm getting thumbs up here Because my fault, guys. My bad. But anyways, let's move, let's move on to the next brawler. I think this is number six, but the next brawler is going to be Gale. Gale is very strong um, due to the fact that, you know, the super damage got buffed recently. And um, I don't know why they did that because, yeah, now Gale is able to just beat a lot of matchups here. And it's probably one of the best um, mid-range brawlers slash long-range brawlers in the game. Like, I'd say it's pretty mid-range, to be honest. Like, it has a lot of range, but nowhere near, like, Pipe and Byron stuff. It's just a very complete brawler. I think that's the best way to describe it. You can change your kit as well if you want to go stun here, if you want to go slow. Both of them are viable here. If you're playing against like a max, for example, you probably want to go slow, like, like a max or an amber. But most of the time, I think stun is a great choice to have here. But these guys have a lot of utility here. Let's try and get that kill. There we go. Alright, we're doing pretty well here. But yeah, like I said, it's just Gale's a very complete brawler. You can play it on any map, any mode, just depending on what matchup it is. And good thing about ranked is you're not going in blind, you know what you're playing against, and that's exactly what you need. And unfortunately, you came out blind. I am quite blind because I knew that mine was there and I still walked into it. So, yeah, not the best from me here. Not the best. All right, let's try and get out of the spawn trap here. Let's kill that pet first. There we go. Oh, pop a hyper charge here. Yeah, okay, there we go. We avoided both things there pretty, pretty nicely. Okay, let's try and uh, stun out this Tara here. There we go. One, two, three. We got the kill. We finally have broken out of spawn here. We got another BB. Right, I've seen enough BBs for today, I think. Like, this is ridiculous. There's like a BB averaging per game, which is, yeah, that is not normal. Okay, well, I'll go down here. I tried to flick my super quickly, but it didn't quite work out. Pretty even game here. BB's going up again. Not what you love to see. There's mines here, so I need to be careful. There we go. One, two, three. Dead. Okay, BB's going to get the mines. Oh, there's no mines, I guess. Alright, well, let's try and deal with this. We don't get super here. Let's just do that. Pretty nice. Okay. Nice little flick. Nice flick again. I'm going to go down here, but they're pretty weak right now. 
Now the best part about Gale is in fact the hypercharge here. So once we get the hypercharge, hopefully I can go crazy and show you guys exactly why I think this brawler is crazy strong. Okay, well we're getting completely wrecked here by the utility. Alright, we got a hypercharge here. This is our one chance we have here. Because, yeah, it looks like we might be losing the game if I don't go crazy with the hypercharge. Right, this guy is not letting me go crazy here. There we go. We went crazy. Bang, we got the kill onto him. No support from the team. BB's going up. Why do we have a BB? You know what? I've, I've seen enough BBs. I've seen enough BBs for one day, guys. I've seen enough. Enough of BBs for one day. Gale is my next brawler here. I really like Gale, guys. Like I said, you can play in pretty much any mode here. But we're losing. But good things to not rank. Let's move on to, I think, top five now. Here we are um, into the top five now. Um, the next five brawlers here. Stu. Stu is um, a very good choice because... It's so versatile. Like, a lot of these options are versatile because sometimes in rank, I don't know what I'm going to play in terms of role. You know, sometimes I get put on lane, mid, whatever, and you just got to get ready to just swap, and Stu's a great option here. Um, I like to play against, you know, fragile brawlers like Rico, for example. It's good against Surge. Uh, this is a very good matchup for Stu as well. Brawlers that can't really go crazy onto him. Like, there's no spawnables or anything like that, so that's why Stu's pretty good. Moist, if he dashes towards you, you can just run away. You have the option to go long dash. Long dash is pretty good as well. Look at that. We burned him. We got a super back as well. And we're going absolutely crazy here. Fang can't hit me with a super because I just dashed like that. There we go. And um, of course, if you have very low ping here, Stu is going to be an even better choice. And you should probably abuse it. It's one of those brawlers where if you have low ping, you can probably abuse it into crazy matchups and it just ends up working out. But yeah, like, like I have right now. I don't have zero ping, but my ping is pretty low. So that's why we're going absolutely crazy here. And um, this game is looking well and truly over here. And um, maybe maybe it's because I don't have a BB. That might be it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Nice. All right. Well, Fang went crazy, but we're able to dash away from some of the interactions here. Oh, we just need three more percent here. Can we get the win? Okay, Moist is dashing into completely nowhere. Abit's not walking up. Abit's walk up, buddy. There we go. One, two, and there we go. Finally. All right, we got a win here. Let's move on to the fourth best brawler. Number four on our list is going to be Surge. Now, you guys know Surge and Chester are quite similar. They're both tank counters. Surge is obviously a, more, a lot more difficult to play here. But again, once you get the hybrid charge and stuff, once you get leveled up here, which I'm using the level up gadget to help me out a little bit because this matchup is, you know, quite tough here. But yeah, let's see if we can try and get our levels here. All right, well, they all just went down instantly. I did see someone here, but I can't really see where they went right now. But... I just see our temporary level is going to wear off, but we can just pop another gadget fairly soon. Okay, let's get our free level here. Here we go. Bang. Oh, okay. Well, this buster played it pretty well here. But we have our level 2 now, and then again, with the level up gadget, it's just so easy. You pop it, you have range, and it's basically like having a Chester on your team. Okay, one, two. Here we go. We avoided that. I got missed on the heels, which kind of sucks, but just tap them up here. Here we go. Nice tap. Okay, and uh, we're going to keep on holding here. It's going to be Invis, as always. Oh, I missed a shot there. That's not quite good for me. Okay, well, we're doing pretty well. Evading all these shots. And this guy just spamming gadget. Poco wastes his hypercharge. Poco, there's no need for that. There was literally no need. Okay, so I've learned that you just do this, and then I do that. There we go. And then this is how you get max level. You guys, I learned. I learned. Except, yeah, I didn't unload all my shots here. But there we go. We finally learned how to use the hypercharge there. I did not know you just upgrade to max level like that. But now I know. Okay, there we go. We're getting some nice shots in. Colt's very weak. Game looking very close. Poco going just aggro. Amber shooting the shield. It just happens, you know? Stuff like this just happens. Here we go. Let's just go here. Push him up. And I'm um, looking to control the game. Okay, these guys are pretty decent. They have to juke and stuff. Alright, let's, let's pop the hypercharge here now. Let's pop the hypercharge here. And let's jump on him. There we go. And we pick up the win there, guys. Surge, again, tank counter. Level up gadget offers versatility. And we just get the win here. It was pretty good. Let's move on to the third brawler. Another brawler I like quite a lot and that is super underrated is going to be Melody. Now, I mainly play it in heist because, you know, if you play against a Chuck or something or lots of damage, Melody is a great option to just counteract that because it's very good at base racing. If you know how to play it, you can get away with loads of things. It's also decent into some matchups, I guess. Like, we can just do this, and there we go. Just push up right now. Um, I don't really know how it does into MOBA. I'm guessing not too great. Lily seems to be doing perfectly fine, though, so I guess that's a really good counter. I'd have Mo on this list, but again, it's banned about 90% or 100% of the time here, so 
the chances of getting Mo as a pick is very rare. So yeah, personally, it's just not contributed to my push. I've been banning it a lot because yeah, it's just one of those balls you just kind of have to ban out and not have him play here. Uh, let's see what's happening right now. There we go, two cool does. There we go, and look at that, guys. That is pretty clean, if I do say so myself. Um, he's going to be pushing up here. Great kill from the Lily. We're getting slowly a lot of time here. And again, a lot of these brawlers do require a lot of skill. You know, Melody is not pretty easy. Unless it's on highs, highs, you just got to know how to do the, the dash stuff on the on the save here. We get crazy value. Um, there we go. We went kind of crazy there. Some nice shots. Colt's doing pretty good at getting some damage in. And um, they are slowly creeping their way up here. So let's try and focus on some more zone time. We do seem to outrange Mo, which is a really good thing. There we go. Let's just go behind them just to make them panic a little bit. Oh, kind of lined up there, which is not good. Okay. Not good, not good. All right. Well, this game just became a lot closer. So let's try and close out this game here. I don't know where this Moist is really. Where's Moist? I knew he's there. Ah, we go down there. Not looking good, not looking good. And, um, oh, get live for charge. So that's going to be game over right there. And, uh, yeah, there's no way we kill all of these here. Yeah, well, there you go. That's going to be another loss here, but, yeah, that's how it goes. Um, but, yeah, again, Melody, pretty good. Heist is the main place I play her. You can play her on, like, Brawl and stuff. Brawl scoring ability is pretty good. But, again, Heist is the main place you want to use her to count, like, Chark, Colt. Those type of brawls are pretty good. Let's move on to the second brawl on our list. So we are into number two on our list here, and it's going to be Cord. Cord again is one of those skillful brawlers that's not very meta, but if you play it, if you play correctly into a pretty decent matchup, you can completely take over here. Let's just try and take him out here. There we go. Easy kill against Mo here. I'm guessing it's a very good matchup into Mo here because, yeah, it's just very close up, and Mo doesn't do too well into that. Let's take him into a realm. Dodge that shot. There we go. Nice kill. Let's do that. It's going to dash onto me. And it's going to take me out here. But look at that, guys. We get 30% all because of the amount of pressure we are causing here. But the hard part is now pushing out here. Quarters are not that great on pushing out. So let's see if we can try and execute that. There we go. Nice hit there. Colt with a very nice shot. Doesn't finish off the kill, though. Which happens. Nice bomb for my teammate. Just breaking up that wall. Let's try and dodge this Jesse here and push into him. There we go. We're doing pretty good at juking. There we go. Nice shot. I'm going to just heal up now. Okay. Doing really good there. Colt cleaning up here. Okay, Mo is still behind us, I think. Oh, I hear him. Oh, there you go. He's dead now. All right, let's try and take out this Gale here. Oh, all right. Well, it looks like Jesse is causing a bigger headache, actually. All right, let's just wait. And then we'll take one of these. Oh, that is not good. Come on. They're both weak. Get him, Colt. Get him, Colt, I believe. Look at that. I believe, 100%. Look at that. Full faith in the Colt here. Let's see what this Mo does now. Here we go. We take him. Take the Gale. There we go. We're going to take him out. Uh, Jesse kills us instantly, which is crazy. Um, he does have a turret, so we've got to be careful. Um, he didn't need to get a turret, though, but I'm guessing he's going to get it fairly soon. Let's try and push from the side here just to distract him a little bit. We want to be spread out, I would say, is the best way to go about things. There we go. We're pushing up a little bit. Jesse misses the bomb, but hopefully he's able to... Take him out here. All right. Again, another close game. We just can't seem to close out these games. I just This is what happening. We always get a good start when we just clo close out these games here. But, yeah, let's see what happens here now. Okay, there we go. Aim to a realm. We get a kill onto him. Is this game over? Is this game over? Did we do it? Did we actually win for once? There we go. And we pick up the win, finally. All right, guys, let's move on to the last brawler on this list. And the last brawl on the list, which helped me get high up on the leaderboards, top 10 global, is going to be Max here. Max is one of those flavor picks where you can pick it anytime, and it's a really good pick because the hypercharge is super strong. Again, requires a lot of skill here, like a lot of the brawls on this list. But again, you gotta, you gotta learn these type of brawlers, guys. You can't always just play tanks like Patchy Pyro or something. You gotta try and learn how to play these aim brawlers, and um, yeah, it helps you out a lot here. I just see we're doing pretty good at just juking and stuff. Here we go. You can all that staying alive. Oh, I don't know how I got hit by that here, but we managed to distract a little bit here. Got a bit of supercharged as well. Oh, we actually have a super here. Um, okay, let's use on the 8 bit and just kill this guy here. There we go. Good kill from me. Um, uh, Mega's not a good matchup for me, so let's try and avoid him. Let's try and pin him from the side here where he doesn't have a good angle. Um, seems like they're running away from me here. Okay, ah, uh, we get swiped there. It's not good. We have speed right now. Let's see if we can go crazy with the speed. 
Okay. Alright, let's try and kill this guy. There we go. Clean kill. Okay, he's out of mech now. 8-bit, get him. Okay, turret. Interesting place. Definitely place that in the back here. I don't know why you're placing it where the bell is. Alright, let's see what we can do here now. Alright, well, we can give our teammates some new turrets and stuff. Alright, come on. Come here, buddy. Let's go. Alright, let's dance. Let's go crazy. There we go. Beaming them completely. Ape it's gonna TP in. Don't know why. Oh, we nearly killed. Let's get another speed up going here. Mo's going in. Man, I hate Mo. I hate Mo. Ah, they're all so weak here. They're all so weak. They're spinning really. Is it, is it spinning that necessary? Mo's going in. Misses everything. Misses literally everything here. And that's gonna be game. No, 99%. And up until the Meg's just gonna walk up on our zone in three. Yeah, there we go. I don't need to count down here, but there you go. Those are the, those are the 10 brawls I played in ranked um, to help me get top eight global. Obviously, it didn't look good on ladder, but those, that's ladder. Ladder meta is completely different from ranked here. So these 10 brawlers, make sure you use them. They're super strong, super viable. If you play them correctly, you'll get loads of wins. Trust me. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.